Okay, you should be ready to go. Apply the brakes. Okay, 83 degrees on the angle. Let's try this again and not fly back. Off to a good start so far in this one. And of course my phone has to be going off right now. Oh, hidden back again. Nice and slow. Just gain a little bit of forward momentum. Let's see if we can just hover here. Hey, this isn't too bad. Let's get an external view. Oh crap, I hit him back again. Uh, that time, let's go ahead and apply some rudder. Not bad at all. Now the question is how to uh, decrease without uh, dying horribly. Slowly and gently. I said slowly and gently. Perhaps this is slow enough. A bit rough, but hey, we did it. Short retoll and a uh, quick landing. <coughs> Go ahead and throttle up. See if I can make a note of where the actual liftoff is. I'm guessing it'll be 950. 940, 950. Starting to get lift at 974. Adjustments to the stick. Adjusting throttle. I'm always hitting backwards. Here we go. Now I got some forward momentum. Just going to kind of cruise around here a little bit. Apply some rudder.
A little bit more rudder. Got a nice little turn going. Uh, see, now I start rocking. This is where things start to get a little hazy. I guess the secret is, just like with a helicopter, is not to let yourself panic and start making rapid movements. Turning slowly with the rudders. See if we can get turned around here without moving too far ahead. Decrease the throttle slightly. Pull up the nose, obviously. Turn. Here we go. Too much, too much. Another rocky one. I know that this aircraft's uh, landing gear. <coughs> landing gear can take kind of a beating, not as sensitive as most aircraft. Obviously, it's prepared for, uh, you know, designed for its task. 966 gets glipped. 53 seems to be about a slight hover. So 960-ish. 68 seems to be good for at least holding your height. Let's go ahead and uh, get a good amount of height. Hmm, I really need to trim the forward on this or something because I'm always leaning back. I'm going to start a descent here. Play them rudder. Let's see if we get turned around here. One thing about the Warthog stick is it's not very kind with the movements. It's kind of uh, stiff. So you gotta, you gotta use a lot of strength to turn it. If I had my old joystick, the X50, uh, X52, I believe it is, um, <coughs> The spring is real light on that one, so it's easier to make smaller movements than with a Warthog joystick. It's kind of hard to go into external view. Kind of hard to do external view while you're flying at the same time. I could do a replay then splice that into the regular video and merge it into one so you can get an a, uh, external view. Yeah, if I was a really good pilot I would just go ahead and get turned around with this air field. But I think instead no you know what instead of chickening out let's go ahead and try this. This is where things will start to get bad. I can feel it. I'm already overcorrecting myself. Oh, nope. Let's bank a little bit, apply some rudder.
Now what I need to do is fix the trim for this aircraft onto my joystick so I can uh, just kind of reach over. Right now I have it selected to shift. Let's go ahead and get some forward momentum. Adjust the novels a little bit. Landing gear. A little bit more. Two hundred nozzles full forward. Adjusting trim. Some reverse thrust. Should be falling here pretty quick. I think I need to adjust my rudder curves a little bit.
Okay, adjusted the trim. I don't have to move the stick as much. Uh, trim is much better. Let's go ahead and try to slide our way in sideways for an alignment. We got plenty of runway. Let's go ahead and go lower a little bit. A little bit more rudder to get aligned. Slowly edge your way over. Let's go ahead and slow down a little bit. touch more. Now I'm seeing the uh, HUD reticle uh, bouncing around so I can kind of see when I'm lowering and hiding. That's one thing I've neglected in the past. It should be obvious. Hey, not bad, huh? I would say that not only is that my first successful uh, transition for my uh, not only is it my first successful little flight but my first successful uh, landing as well that's pretty cool probably makes sim fans uh, cringe but hey for me that's pretty good I never noticed the uh, reticle and the uh, screen the way it dips. And now that I know that that is there and showing me exactly how much I am hovering and dropping and rising, it's making things a whole lot more easier now. I find myself not even looking at the ground. Just kind of hover right here. A little bit more. And cut. And let's go all out for this one. For a quick takeoff. Land the gear up. Go ahead and give us some space. I 
I do like this aircraft. The weapon systems are simplistic as well. Below 200 should be safe for landing gear. Landing gear, landing gear. I know I'm overshooting the runway. I just know I am. Is a quick descent. Okay, I see the end of the runway here. I'm going to go ahead and go forward once I get closer to the ground and then from there circle around. So let's go ahead and get working on that. Okay, so now just slowly adjusting the throttle. It's always really hard for me to resist trying to go fast. I always run out of patience and try to run charging for the uh, runway. That's what always gets me is patience. Raising up just slightly, still falling, but very slowly leveling out. Turning towards the runway. Still want to drop a little bit, but not too far. Maybe we'll stop a little bit ahead. Like this. Adjusting a rudder, rudder in pitch, or I should say yaw. Get throttle back. Perfect.
nozzle is back down 83 percent 83 and 84 apply brake Was it 940, 924? Of course, as we expend fuel, we get lighter as well, so it will take less thrust to get us up. <coughs> so, I guess that's the secret is to get a, keep an eye on the HUD symbology. The circle with the two lines, with the lines on both sides, so you know when you're hovering and when you're sinking. It's a massive oversight. Probably the first time that I flew this aircraft was not looking at that and keeping it level. Very cool. All right, sorry if this is probably really boring to watch, but quite interesting to experience. You got the rudders, some gentle stick movements. In my case, not so gentle. Just keeping an eye on everything. Keeping an eye on the HUD more than anything else. I'm not even really looking at the ground. Just using my peripheral. Keeping my eyes more on my instruments. From the corners of my eyes. Or from the center of my eyes looking at the instruments the corner of the eye looking at the actual ground because my instruments are more important Ooh. yeah gentle gentle movements very sloppy But not bad. <coughs> All things considered. Let's see if I can gently get back over to the runway. Not so gently. They weren't kidding when they said this thing likes to flip over.
The problem is when I try to uh, go to the external view, I obviously I can't see what's going on in the hood. So that's why I would say it would be good to merge some footage from a replay. That was a quick recovery. I didn't think I was going to recover from that. Some pretty uh, harsh rolls that I got into during the uh, external view. So we're going to try to quickly, a little bit more aggressively than later. Uh, not later, a little bit more quickly than last time. Where I was kind of baby stepping my way into a turn. I guess that means I'm getting more confident. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Adjusting throttle back and forth, a little bit of pitch. Compensating with the roll and rudder. Runway is already ahead. Now, what would it take for me to make a quick turn to get level with the runway? Not level, but aligned. I'm sorry guys, I don't work with scripts, I just kind of speak as I go, so I will misspeak quite often. What I'm tempted to do is to play some rudder and some roll right now, just to kind of start getting a little bit aligned. My original plan was to try to make a quick one. I know that tower is to my left. Uh, I got plenty of room. Okay, going a little bit more faster than I'd wish. Hey, not bad at all. Puppies playing in the background. Everything going on during recordings, right? All right. I guess I'll go ahead and stop it right here while I'm on a uh, while I'm on a winning streak. If I don't manage to screw this up at the very end. Alright, my first baby steps to properly landing the uh, Harrier. Maybe not properly, but at least uh, not dying. Throttles back, mash her arm off. Generator, battery. Turn off the fuel pumps. See, there should be a little nozzle around here. We'll go ahead and leave it. I know that there's a nozzle, or there is a release. There's a lock for this. I think that's something else. Somewhere around here. Yeah, see, it's locked. All right, guys, that'll be it. Short video, kind of boring, but just kind of messing around with hovering. Um, if I can get the hang of it, anybody can. <laughs> Talk to you later. Bye.